Hi there. Hi, and welcome back to the 11.15 at home from St Paul's Beckenham. Now, we have some really important news to share with you as we come out of the second national lockdown. Yes, from next week, we're able to meet in person in the church building again. But please don't worry, if you're not ready to come back into the church building just yet, everything will be live streamed and available online so that you can watch from home as well. So whether you plan to join us in person or join us online, we look forward to seeing you then as normal. Now, today is Advent Sunday, which means it's OK to start looking forward to Christmas. <laughs> and although Christmas is going to look and feel slightly different this year, we still have a really exciting lineup to share with you. Yes, and so coming up on your screen now is a list of all the events, activities and services that will be taking place over the next few weeks. You'll notice some of them are in person and some of them are online. But my absolute favourite is our Chris Stingle project. And so here's a little video to find out more. Hi, I'm Rev Simon, but you might recognise me as the St Paul's Chris Stingle. Now Christmas is going to be a little bit different for all of us this year. And one of the ways it will be different here at church is that our much celebrated Christmas Eve Chris Stingle service will be moving online. This has been a really tough year, so now more than ever, we here at St Paul's want to let you know that we are thinking of you and care about you. And we want to share with you a gift to help you celebrate the Christmas story at home this year. As Reverend Simon mentioned, this year is likely to look a little different for all of us. Whatever your situation may be as we enter Advent, we want to offer our community here in New Beckenham a gift of hope this season. You may already be familiar with our Christian service and all the magic that it brings. All the oranges topped with a candle and surrounded by sweets may be new to you. Whichever it is, we invite you to share in the wonder of the Christmas story and encourage you to join us on Christmas Eve as we host our Chris Dingle service online for the very first time. So, if you live in the New Beckenham area or worship at St Paul's, we're offering everything you will need to enjoy Chris Dingle at home this year with a Chris Dingle gift box for each household. If you're ordering as a family, simply let us know the name and age of each child so that we can include a personalised letter and an age-appropriate craft and gift. But this is not just for children, young or not, we'll ensure your Chris Dingle gift is filled with everything you'll need, from a Chris Dingle making kit, activity sheets, a book, and your very own nativity sticker set so we can explore the Christmas story together. You can order your gift today from our website and it can be picked up or delivered anywhere in the New Beckenham area. We can't wait to celebrate Christmas with you. We are so looking forward to the Chris Dingle project this year. The order form goes live on the 1st of December, so make sure you place your order so that we can get your box all ready for you and your household. Now, we're about to head back over to the church to start our Advent journey together. But before that, if you're a little one, why don't you get some breakfast or a snack at the ready? If you're slightly older, why don't you have a cup of coffee to hand? Because it's time to worship together. So today marks the start of the season of Advent. Now when I say season, I don't of course mean a season like summer or winter, but it's the start of a period of preparation, a time of getting ready to celebrate Christmas. And one of the things I love about the season of Advent is that it's a great time to tell stories. In fact, over the next four weeks, we're going to tell the story of the Bible in four chapters. From God's first promise to Abraham, right through to the time when God stepped into the world he had made, in the person of his son, Jesus Christ. And today we're going to hear chapter one of that story, where we learn that God revealed his plans to his people through his promises. We're going to hear the story of the patriarchs, the mothers and fathers of the faith, how God was going to take Abraham and Sarah and through their little family, bless all the families of the earth. And to remind us of chapter one and the story of the patriarchs, James here is going to help me light the first Advent candle. So James, if you just hold that at the bottom. 
good lad, if you light this candle here. So with this candle, we remember chapter one and the story of the patriarchs, how God reveals his plans for his people through his promises. Good lad. It's story time. Today's story is about Abraham and God's special promise. And I'm reading it from the Jesus Storybook Bible written by Sally Lloyd-Jones. God's world was still full of tears. It was never meant to be like this. But God was getting ready to do something about it. He was going to make all the wrong things right and he was going to do it through a family. Abraham, God said, how many stars are there? God was about to tell his friend a wonderful secret. Mm, Let me see, Abraham said, rolling up his sleeves. But have you ever tried counting stars? Then you know how hard it is. 993, 994, 997, uh, uh, no, wait, uh, one, two. Of course, Abraham kept losing count. Too many, he said. Guess what, God laughed. I will give you so many children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren, you won't be able to count them either. Abraham couldn't help giggling at such a wonderful idea. But he stopped himself. How could he have a family? Don't be silly. He didn't have any children, let alone grandchildren. He wiped away a tear. Anyway... It was far too late for him to start having babies at his age. He was 99 years old. What could God mean? Abraham, God said, believe me. And then God told Abraham his secret rescue plan. Abraham, I will make your family very big, God promised, until one day your family will come to number more than even all the stars in the sky. Abraham looked up at the dark night sky, thick with stars. You will be my special family, my people, and through you everyone on earth will be blessed. It was an incredible promise. God was going to rescue the world through Abraham's family. One of his great-great-grandchildren would be the child, the promised one, the rescuer. But it's too wonderful, Abraham said. How can it be true? Is anything too good to be true, God asked. Is anything too wonderful for me? So Abraham trusted what God said more than what his eyes could see. And he believed. Now when Abraham's wife Sarah heard God's promise, she just laughed at herself. But it wasn't a happy laugh. It had tears in it. She'd always wanted a baby. Could her dream come true? Could she really have a baby when she was 90 years old? No, of course not. Don't be silly. It was far too late. Sarah didn't believe God could do what he promised. She'd forgotten that when God says something, it's as good as done. Of course, it was as easy for God to give her a baby son as it was for him to make all the stars in the sky. And sure enough, nine months later... Just as God had promised, Sarah gave birth to a baby boy. They named him Isaac, which means son of laughter. And Sarah laughed. But this time it was a glorious, happy laugh. Her dream had come true. God would do as he promised. He would always look after Abraham's family, his special people. And one day, God would send another baby. A baby promised to a girl. But this baby would bring laughter to the whole world. This baby would be everyone's dream come true. Now that is one of my favourite stories of all time. And it has such an important message for us. That through his promise to Abraham, God was going to show his love for every family on the earth. And exactly how God was going to keep that promise is something we're going to think about each week through Advent up to Christmas Day itself. Which leads us nicely into our craft time. And we're going to think a little bit more about that moment when God spoke to Abraham and told him to look up into the sky at the stars. 
As usual, all our resources are available to download online at www.stpaulsbeckenham.org.uk forward slash children's. There's lots of activity sheets, colouring and word searches, but our craft this week is available in two formats, in black and white or already coloured in. And when you print it, it should look like this. There'll be two sheets, one with Abraham on and one with the scene. The scene needs to be cut out on the dotted lines and folded on the black lines and then fold it in half so that when it's all cut out, it looks a little bit like this. You just simply need to glue or sellotape the sides, stick down Abraham, and then you have a perfect scene where he's looking up into the sky at the stars and thinking about the promise that God made him. Now, don't forget to send in a photo of your completed crafts because we love to see them. And again, you'll find all those resources available on our designated webpage. But for now, it's craft time. How did you get on? Now, I love the image of Abraham looking up into the night sky and counting the stars, thinking about how God was going to keep his promise, how through him he was going to show his love to every family on the earth. And we're going to think a little bit more about that now in our time of prayer. So let's pray. Let's pray! Thank you, God, for everything in the world. Amen. Thank you for all your promises and that you always keep them. Amen. Pray for people who are poorly and sad. Make them better. Amen. Amen. So God had made his great promise to Abraham that through him, God was going to show his love to all the families on the earth. And next week, we'll hear how God kept his promise through the work of the prophets. Which brings us to the end of our service today, but not before you've had a chance to use these in our All Together Prayer. Let's pray. Thank, Thank you, Jesus, Jesus for, for this day, for our, our friends and time to play. play. Thank you, Jesus, for your love and all your blessings from above. Amen. Now, don't forget that next week we'll be back in the church building and online. So whether you'll be seeing us in person or joining us from home, we look forward to seeing you then as normal. And the order form for our Chris Tingle boxes goes live on the 1st of December. That's this Tuesday. So make sure to place your order so that we can get that ready for you and your household. But now let's close with a final prayer of blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you, lift up his countenance upon you to give you his peace, now and always and forever. Amen. Amen.